gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today, I'm going to take unit number 10, our single axle Peterbilt 337 with a Miller Industries Century 4024, and load a derelict vehicle. Uh, it's a, oh shoot, like a service truck, service body uh, from a utility company onto a step deck trailer. Uh, apparently the step deck has ramps, so we're going to have to reposition the truck first and then if everything works as planned, we'll get in front of the trailer and winch it on. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll get over there and uh, take a look at the trailer setup and make a plan. Anyway, here we go. Looks like the step deck is here, right on time. And before I get out, it is very, very, very windy. What you see that looks like haze is actually dust in the air. Oh. Hello, I'm Ron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, they said you got like 12 foot ramps. Yeah, is that right? They go on the back? Yeah. Okay. You already saw it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Did you talk to anybody in there to see if we could work on their lot or if we need to go elsewhere? Where should we find I didn't talk to them, but where should we find Okay. I can go ask them. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, if you don't want to, I will while, while you're getting set up. Uh, I guess the best thing is probably just you set up wherever you feel comfortable to where I can get. What I'll do is you get your trailer set have the tractor at an angle so that I can reach over the deck and uh, winch it on. Uh, I'll hook up to the truck and line it up with your ramps wherever you set up. Okay. And then just, like I said, I'll just get in front and winch it on, hopefully. It's got the uh, pull handle brakes, so that helps. Yep. I didn't see the key yesterday when I looked at it. No key. Oh, there is no key. Well, I mean, I didn't see one either. Okay. Probably the driver. Well, the guy, yeah, the guy I talked to though, we need to get it in neutral. That or dr drop the drive shaft. Let me go. Uh, let me move up first, then we'll go talk to him. Okay, sure. I'll look for a key while you're doing that. new facility.
don't get super carried away with it. If these aren't too tall, that'll work. And they're going to be too tall. this lot to get it lined up with his ramps. use this method if I were towing this thing on the road this is only only to get me around this lot without someone having to sit in a seat push this truck onto the trailer because of the breakover of the ramp. Plus, I don't want to overload the ramps. I don't know what his ramps are rated at. Don't want to risk overloading them. So I've done this before with ramps and a lot of times they uh, If they don't, if you don't have enough, or if you have too much of a slope, I should say, if you have too much, it uh, wants to hit the underreach whenever you break over. The steering wheel's a little off, so it's throwing me off getting it lined up but we'll get there as long as we get it close and I can get the winch line tied to it we can straighten it out
main thing is making sure that I can get the back end mostly in line. Oh, he's still got more ramp to go. Okay. I'll stop for a minute. Help him with the ramps. It's almost a two-man operation, ain't it? Get it up close and see. I'd say it's gonna have to go wider on this side because it I don't know. I don't know, we'll get it, I'll get it up here and see. To make sure that back end is straight as possible. Do what? To make sure it's straight. Yep. They push the back end over just a little bit, and I think we're good. Did we uh, need to more dump air or should we be right? No, I think we'll be good. I can almost push it up there, but I'm afraid to. I don't want to overload your ramps.
get turned around and get in front of it. safety hooks.
this way just a little bit. Let me roll it back and have you still try to turn it that way. There you go. Straighten her up. To the left, just or the right, yeah, right, just a little bit. There you go. Now be ready on the brake. Because once it breaks over, it may want to roll. So let's hug this left rail, and then at the last instant, we'll bring it back into the right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I'm just feathering the controls. All right, straight. There you go. Straight. All right, to the right just a little bit. There you go. Right, to the left just a hair that wind is just fierce man back to the right just a little bit or do you want to stop there you're about two and a half three foot from the bulkhead you good there okay you want to look at it and make sure before we do anything else Check your side to side, make sure you're good there. I think you're okay back here. I tried to walk it over some more because it was off that way just a hair. Okay. It's fine. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Shit ain't Long as you're happy. I think I can hook it up. Jay hook it up. 
Do what? I think I can uh, hook it up to those hooks right here. Those D-rings? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe you can the frame. Looks like they took a pedal hook off of it. That was those were designed for breakaways, I guess, when they pulled the trailer. That's what I used to uh, hook up to. I didn't use the D-rings, but I used that bar to lift it to tow it over to here. But it wasn't just around a lot. Was all I did. Uh, well, it depends on what you're wanting to do and how far you're going. Nine hundred miles. Nine hundred miles. Uh, overkill is underrated in my opinion yeah i'd go i'd take the axles down and then i'd grab a hold of the frame and lash it down instead of four points i'd do eight yeah. that way you're loading the suspension and it's not going to walk on you yeah so the axle and then maybe grab it right here yeah you can grab these those are the frame hooks you can grab a hold of those yeah tie them down axles it is Absolutely. That's what I would do if it were mine, but you know more about what you do than, no, I, don't. than I do. So. I'm playing you on this. good I meant the trailer I like the trailer a lot
I'll see if I can help him get uh, his ramps loaded up. And we'll get out of here. That was interesting. Something different in this job. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. All he's got to do is lash it out, lash it down, and put his uh, ramps back up, and he's ready to roll out. I'm gonna head back to the shop and see what's next. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.